Hello, let's solve this question on application of differentiation in kinematics. Here are the questions. A bullet is shot vertically upwards and its height h meters at time t seconds is given by h is equals to negative 3.2 t squared plus 256 t. A. Find the velocity with which the bullet was shot to max. B. How fast is the bullet moving at t is equals to 15 seconds? C. How far up does the bullet travel? 3 max. Then per d. Find the time and the velocity with which the bullet strikes the ground. 3 marks. So those are the questions. Let's go to the first part. So for the first part, you require to calculate or find the velocity with which the bullet was shot. And what you're given here is the expression for the height. This is h is equals to negative 3.2 t squared plus 256t. Now how do you find velocity given the displacement or the height? Uh, there's something that uh, remind ourselves about our kinematics. Uh, when you're given distance that is uh, given by s, we differentiate distance to get velocity. Then we differentiate velocity to get acceleration. So when you're moving uh, downwards from distance or displacement to velocity, then from velocity to acceleration, we differentiate we differentiate when you're moving upwards in the opposite direction meaning you either given velocity you require to get displacement you integrate or either you're given acceleration you require to get velocity you integrate so in this question you're given distance which is s displacement you require to get velocity so this one is downward movement so you differentiate displacement to get velocity so let's get the expression for velocity so we differentiate um, this distance so h is equals to negative 3.2 t squared plus 256 so in this case we are going to get velocity by differentiating height with respect to t so we differentiate height with respect to t this one will give negative 6.4 t plus 256 so that is a velocity so velocity is given by negative 6.4 4t plus 256. Now we've not answered the question. Now what we've got is uh, the expression for velocity. Now we should now find the velocity with which the bullet was shot. So when was the bullet shot? The initial time when the bullet was shot was time is equals to 0 seconds. So we just need to substitute t with 0 seconds to get the velocity with which the bullet was shot. So velocity is equals to, we just um, substitute negative 6.4, then t is equals to 0 plus 256. So when this one will give velocity as uh, 256 meters per second. So that is how you are supposed to find the velocity. Let's go to part b, the question. How fast is the bullet moving at t is equals to 15 seconds how fast is the bullet moving at t is equals to 15 seconds so when you asked uh, when you asked how fast how fast means the speed or the velocity so we just need to work out this one using the expression for the speed or the velocity you already obtained that velocity is given by negative 6.4 t plus 256 now to find the velocity at t is equals to 15 seconds we just need to substitute uh, t with 15 seconds so velocity therefore be negative 6.4 then t is 15 seconds plus 256 and this one will give when you work out this one using a calculator you get this one is uh, 160 meters per second so that is how fast uh, the bullet is moving at t is equals to 15 seconds the speed part c how far up does the bullet travel how far up does the bullet travel how far up means the maximum height so the maximum height it reaches how far that is what it means and there's something that you need to know that at maximum height at maximum height velocity will be zero at maximum height the velocity of that uh, bullet will be zero so you just need to take the expression for velocity which is uh, v is equals to negative 6.4 t plus 256 then uh, at maximum height we just substitute v with zero v is equals to zero so you get uh, negative 6.4 t plus 256 so this one will give us um, the time it will take to reach the maximum height and um, working out this you'll get uh, t is equals to uh, 
40 seconds so it will be able to reach the maximum height at t is equals to 40 seconds now we've not answered the question now we need to get the height it reaches we've already obtained what we have obtained is the time it will take to reach the maximum height now to get the maximum height we shall use the expression that you have for the height and the expression for the height is there up so the expression for the height is here height is equals to negative 3.2 t squared negative 3.2 t squared so negative 3.2 t squared plus 256 t so we just substitute our t with 40 seconds so negative 3.2 then 40 squared plus 256 t is equals to 40 so working out this one using a calculator you get the maximum height to be 51 20 meters Simple. that is 5120 meters part d find the time and the velocity with which the bullet strikes the ground find the time and the velocity with which the bullet strikes the ground when does the bullet strike the ground and um, one question we need to ask ourselves at that time the bullet strikes the ground what will have happened to that bullet it will have reached the height that is equal to zero when the bullet strikes the ground its height at that particular point will be zero so h will be zero at the time the bullet strikes the ground so therefore uh, to work out this question we need to just take the expression for the height and equate that to zero so the expression for the height is here it is already here in the previous question the expression for the height is there so we just need to substitute that one with zero so height is equals to zero so zero is equals to negative 3.2 t squared plus 256 t so we solve um work out for we get the value of t so we just need to uh, reorganize these so zero is equals to we factor out what is common here what is common between negative 3.2 t squared and um 256 t is common we can factor out t first so t and then uh, we remain with negative 3.2 t plus 256 so t is either equals to zero according to these workings or uh, negative 3.2 t plus 256 is equivalent to zero when you're multiplying two numbers and the product is zero it is either t is equals to zero or negative 3.2 t plus 256 is equals to zero so negative 3.2 t is equals to negative 256 when you take 56 to the right hand side uh, dividing both sides by negative you'll get t is equals to 256 divided by 3.2 and this one will give t is equals to 80 seconds when you divide this you get t is equals to 80 seconds so you have two times uh, one is a uh, time is equals to zero and the other one is a uh, time is equals to 80 seconds so which one do you take which one do you take uh, when you look at these times uh, it will not take zero seconds for the bullet to strike the ground of course it has moved it has taken some time to move so it will not take uh, zero seconds so you're going to ignore this uh, ignore this one because uh, uh, the time taken to for the bullet to strike the ground will not be equivalent to zero already it has taken some time and uh, time therefore cannot be zero so we go with the time is equals to 80 seconds so that is the time what about the velocity now to get the velocity you just need to take the expression for velocity it is here up we calculated that we calculated that velocity is equals to negative uh, so here it is velocity is equals to is equals to negative 6.40 plus 256 so that is the velocity yes so when t is equals to 80 seconds so v is equals to negative 6.480 plus 256 so velocity will be given by negative 256 meters per second so that is how you're supposed to work out that question so we've calculated we found the time so we've calculated the time it has taken uh, to reach uh, for the bullet to strike the ground that is uh, given by 80 seconds and the speed is there so that is uh, basically how you're supposed to solve that question on application of differentiation in kinematics